Morning everybody, Gary Porter again. Uh, I just ordered an RF generator so I can tune my MWO system and while I'm waiting on that I've gone back through my uh, oh the setup for the anti-gravity platform and uh, found some unsoldered things and some loose wires tightened everything went through and changed the entire uh, the layout that I had done previously which I just posted a little bit a little bit ago I had I think I calculated the energy levels different than what uh, what they actually meant to have calculated and uh, so I've got 20 toroids that are uh, A and B sets of coils on each if you remember uh, from uh, Schultz's test on a shot glass and I did the same thing with a neo ball spinning with no energy to one of these coils at 10 feet out uh, was quite interesting and uh, what that means is the field is fractal in nature it uh, does basically what Nassim is showing in some of his videos as a toroid field it expands outward and the initial energy into the coil with a neo ball uh, in the shot glass the initial got it spinning and then the power was disconnected from the the rodent neo the, the toroid coil as you move the shot glass further away from the coil the neo ball continues to spin and the, in other words that field is still fractally growing outward and then all of a sudden as the field finally reaches its its maximum potential of growth based on the energy that was put into the coil and the frequency or whatever and uh, that field then starts to collapse as the field is collapsing you'll notice that the neo ball spinning increases as the field gets closer to the zero point the singularity in the center of the toroid so I'm basing this whole platform design on that plus the crop circle from England and uh, and I think I need to use not electron flow but uh, dielectric energy so I need to build a three uh, three energy level system and the newest calculations were uh, from the crop circle I had the ones and zeros inverted where I, now the new the new fields are uh, minimum level one is uh, a four uh, the next level is a 10 and the and the strongest level is a 17 now these are all in a, in a fraction of over 31 because uh, you've got five levels in the center of this crop circle so uh, what I've got here I've got everything wired up and uh, I'm going to show you I've got a I've got down at the bottom down here I've got a I've got a printed circuit board right here that uh, and on the printed circuit board the bottom of the board has the three circles of energy level one two and three the top of the board has PC uh, copper material that reaches into those three levels and they bore a hole through the board to make the connections. In this, in this position here, now underneath here I got a board with FETs and uh, any 55 timer controlling those. I've got a push button switch right here. When I push this in the entire system will run and uh, this simply is a, provides a ground path for the driver chips and the FETs in the back. And uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's FETs with heat sinks back here. The original system had burned up a bunch of FETs and some coils because they got they were just on too long. And uh, so I don't know if you can see this good or not, but I'm going to tip this up. And uh, I've got coils 1 through to 20 in this position number one uh, there are 20 different positions as I turn this the system uh, it changes the uh, the levels on the uh, on the actual toroids they they're all that they're all going to be the same they're simply shifted 18 degrees for each one of these positions so the platform should rise up and then it should uh, go in a direction that, that this thing is pointing at. And uh, so as if I turn this to the 20 position, 
it should then shift 18 degrees in this direction. And uh, if this all works, then uh, our planet definitely is in for some serious changes. And uh, so it's going to be quite quite interesting to get this thing running. And uh, so I'm going to go back to my original hairpin Tesla circuit and uh, get three of those columns working, or just a single column with three different energy levels that match the 4, 10, and 17 that drive the, the coils. And uh, that's it for today. And uh, anyway, have a good have a good day. Thanks.